Hi. You're like a very intimidating. F a really intimidating five or so s uh, uh, pixels. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Black Relic. This is a game by Torpal Duke, who I've loved the work of in the past, so I'm kind of excited about this. This is also part of the Dreadx 4 collection, which is a first person shooter themed. Uh, series. So with that in mind, this is likely to be a first-person shooter game. I don't know the details. All I know is that it's by Torpal Duke, who, who who's great. So I'm gonna uh, just press play now. Woo! It didn't take long for us to enter the, oh my god, I can't see shit, uh, <laughs> graphics, but you know what? I'm in. Let's go. Proceed to advance dialogue and interact. Use was to left click and mouse stick to aim. Oh, I'm a priest. Do I got the, like, the bald head thing going on? I can't tell. I don't think so. Maybe. That or I'm wearing a cap, but I was just in bed, so I don't know. Well, we're an ancient order of monks. Are we for, like, a cult, or...? Hello, my son. Or brother? I don't know. Apologies, brother silence. Okay, so we are- it is a, a brotherhood. Verbally, I don't know how how priest works. Priest monks do things. Apologies, brother. Silence. I would not disturb any monk on the most holy eve of commitment, least of all one of your stature. I pray I did not rouse you from divine revelation. Father Theodore has requested your presence in the chapel. He is finishing up the final cantusil shortly. Onward, my brother. So, I'm not religious, but if you were an atheistic monk, it doesn't sound too bad. People would, like, provide for you and stuff under the assumption you're a legit monk. Shift while moving to run. Left shift while moving backwards to turn around. You can change control options. Oh, uh, this is gonna be a pro. Oh, no. As long as you hold it down. So it might be fine. Can't run backwards anyway. Okay. No, no, I've had games where you, like, are sprinting and then you press back. Uh... It, it turns you, but I didn't want that. Uh, but it looks like if you're already sprinting, which will probably be the case, it won't turn you. So hopefully it's not too big of a problem.
We'll have to see when the action starts. Brother Silence, I did not expect you stray from your quarters. I will be attending uh, to matters of the flesh during the eve of commitment. Matters of the flesh? Hmm. The m need must be dire indeed. So wait, are you saying you're gonna be... Like, living? Or, are you, like, eating and shit? Or are you saying you're, like, gonna get fucked? Are you saying you're gonna be, like, getting laid or something? Oh, hello! I'm sorry, brother! I over overstepped. Seems a lot of vagrants saw fit to ambush Brother Philip's caravan. Slaughtered all but him. He's been ranting about them having red eyes and heads of a stag. Poor wretch. The mind completely shattered. Oh, so we appear to be, uh... Dealing with some, probably, demons. There's something in the darkness, though, that over here. I think it's the tree. But it's legit pure black. Like, if you guys are gonna complain about what this looks like on YouTube, I assure you it's the game, not YouTube, this time. Hold, brother. Tis black as pitch outside. Pray hasten to Scrivener Nathaniel's chamber, where we always keep spare lanterns for nocturnal scrivening. Then, may you be permitted outside the walls of the monastery. Alright, so find... Uh, a writer. Any of you writing? No? You have scrolls, so maybe. Hello, brothers. Weevils in the bread again. Worms in the orchard. And that missing child? Foul corruption has been creeping into this place. We best stay vigilant. Mm. <laughs> Be gone, Satan! Ain't so bad living around here. Yeah, see? This guy gets it. Just give me three squares and I'll give you th my three prayers. Yeah, this guy gets it. This guy right here, I was just talking about this. This guy right here, he, he, he found the cheat code to medieval life. Anyway, <laughs> seriously. If I was not born rich, I would join a nunnery. <laughs> this must be the key to Scrivener Nathaniel's chamber. Seems ale makes a fine companion for any monk, even a Scrivener. He shall be glad to see the key return to him. So he's been midnight drinking and he needs his key. I assume he'll give us a lantern if we do. <laughs> Brother Silence, I swear I was just... Oh, whatever, it's not like thou can speak a word against me. With all the other elders cloistered in prayer, the ale room is ripe for the picking. I even saw the Scrivener help himself to a pint. Oh, for a second I thought that guy was like hovering and it was like, oh my god, it's it's mystery of the druids all over again. I don't know why, but lately I've felt a sense of dread in all my waking hours. As if a great storm were approaching, full of malice coming for us all. Whether this be some divine potent whether this be some divine portent, or simply my own madness, tis not to, but to do but pray. May the divine grant us resolution in our holy charge. May he see fit for the black relic to forever slumber. May the divine grant us fortitude to face the dark one should he ever return. And may he grant mercy on our souls, shall we ever falter. I see. So, we are monks of an order that protects a black relic. The black relic. We have yet to see. Uh, presumably from demons. A quote-unquote dark one. Are we back in our rooms? Okay. So we're Brother Silence. Huh. Is that like our, our monk name or? Oh, hello. What am I looking at here? I'm like 
like Scrivener's Chamber. There we go. Hail, why didn't I just knock on the door? I'll never know. I, I, I wish to see thee about, bo uh, about borrowing a lantern. Oh, brother, tis good to have company and bury my lost key as well. Have you been trapped in here? You appear to have been trapped in here. Word hath reached me that Father Theodore hath summoned thee to the chapel. Here, take my lantern. Thou shalt need it in the growing gloom outside. Besides, I no longer need my eyes to chant to transcribe the holy text. Yep. So, so you're so uh, back in the medieval era, or in just in uh, for a while before the printing press. Uh, the lantern shall be my light when all other lights go out. Nice. Uh, to to hold up lantern. Oh, I can't move when I do that. I see. Um. So before printing press and all that, uh, holy men, usually uh, scrivener monks, uh, amongst others. There's there's actually several types of holy men of various branches of of Christian and all that that would uh, take on the job. Uh, they would basically um, just copy the Bible and other texts over and over again. And the problem with this is that uh, they would often write their own bits and pieces, which is why Beowulf, the surviving versions of it, uh, have been, basically they've gone over it with a Christian commentary. Beowulf is, is an interesting read, uh, because it'll, it, you can see where the original story is, where it'll be like, you know, we need to go and, and pray to the gods or some shit like that, but then you can see where the monks have stepped in as they rewrote it over this, over time, and it'd be like, you know, they, these, these foul pagans did not yet know of, of the joys of Christ, but, <laughs> you know, shit like that, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very notable, uh, contradicting statements here and there from, from, from the different writers. This game has a weird lag problem. Yeah, what, what's happening here? Like, of course the, the sound's cutting out, but like, when I turn, there's something it's doing that it's, it's not liking. Let us leave the, the sanctity of, of, of this land. This is your health bar. It be orb. Lose it all, and you're dead. If your health is low, you can hold F to pray for healing. So I can heal by pressing F. And that prays, but I become vulnerable, I assume. And then this, I assume, is the best, like, the closest I have to a weapon at the moment. I could probably set myself on fire, even though it's raining. Ooh. Where on earth did all these crates come from? I don't even think they had anything inside them. So they are they are so light you can push them aside merely by walking into them. Ah, I see. Nice tutorial camera? Nice tutorial. We really need to get someone to fix the leak in this roof. <laughs> it's as if the rain cares not that the roof is even there. <laughs> That's a nice way to get past some uh, annoying uh, uh, programming there, my friend. Well, well, well. If it isn't Brother Silence, out of his chamber at last. Pray tell, brother, have thou noticed anything suspicious about the Order's newest members? I cannot help but wonder if something dark now lurks among us. Are you talking about the guy who realized he has a cheat code to life? Or the guy who was getting drunk while presumably the higher-ups were, were off on business? Eh.
Oh, yep, yeah, look, they got, they're affected by gravity. Oh, what the hell? Doth thou see it? That grotesque amalgam of bone and malice. It appears to be a profane idol. I've only ever read about them in books. Though such magics died long ago with the master, I cannot help but feel its presence somehow drains me of life. I like it not, especially since it is blocking the road to the village. Which would be best if it were destroyed. Can I... Look at my health. No, 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 no. Oh, what was it? F? Um... Well, we heal pretty fast. Well, that was a decently fast heal. Monastery Church. Do we want the church? Oh Lord, give me alignment. May he bless you and keep you. Okay. It's a shebang I'm used to. Brothers, the eve of commitment is upon us again. Wow, you got beard face. Uh, you got Viking, Viking in the making here. Tis time we take our sacred vows and reaffirm our oath to keeping darkness from overtaking the world of man. Even among such holy occasions tonight is holiest of holies. For tonight marks 500 years since the banishing and sundering of the Dark One. For 500 years since our slaying of the vile master. And though the world would slumber in peace with the death of the two great evils, our betrayals of the Master's truce forever marked our souls. Today we cast ourselves before God and commit ourselves to penance. Forever after, this order shall be the keepers of the Black Relic, and the silent monk its guardian. And as if summoned by the Divine himself, welcome brother. Grant us your prayers, Faithful, as I have important matters to discuss with Brother Silence. I think say, I thought you were telling me to pray. I'm like, I thought I'd just established I, I don't speak. We know that with the music, man. Brother Silence, I bear grave tidings. Rumors from the East tell tale of a young wizard who has uncovered a fell grim... A fell grimoire of incantations. I pray this not to be potent, portent to the ma of the master's return. Here, take my key. Go to the reliquary within the monastery. We must be certain the black relic is secure. May he bless and keep you. Press E to pick up key. A key! This will open up the reliquary basement. I'll just take it with me. Cool. Alright, um, see you later, shitlords. Wait, what key did I grab? I should have paid attention more. I don't remember where I'm going. Oh no, he won't tell me where to go. Fuck. Here we go. Here it is. Woo! Sorry about that. I'm gonna edit out me wandering around for five minutes anyway, so... Eh. Hello? It's spooky down here. Don't you open that trap door? Do, 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 do. Oh, well, I guess there wasn't a trap door. It was a normal door. Excuse me. Pardon me. Going down these here stairs. Oh. Oh, now I work. 
Looks like a flashlight. Look at that. It's the Ark of the Covenant. I've seen Indiana Jones. Don't touch it. Oh, loading in. Here it is, the sacred Ark. Yes, the Ark of the Covenant! Within lies the accursed black relic. Don't touch it. The source of many bloodlines curse in my holy charge. May it still be undisturbed. It's a Rubik's Cube. Oh, God, why? Whoops. Why did we check on it? It seems like a bad idea to check on it. Ugh, my head. The relic is gone! Flames lick the corner of the room. Something foul clings in the air. We must return to the chapel. Everyone's gonna be dead now. I mean, that part where demons are eating everyone and we have to run by or something. I don't know. Ooh, this is ominous. I don't like the look of this. I can shove that thing if it gets... Reveal thyself. Reveal thyself. If it gets too close. Oh, mouse button. Hi! You're like a very intimidating. F a really intimidating five or so s uh, uh, pixels. I don't feel like it. I'm gonna shove you. I'm gonna shove you. I'm shoving you. I'm shoving you. I'm shoving you. You're like a cultist kind of guy. Thou art already dead. Ah, oh, see, didn't I call it? Now everyone's dead, and it's my fault. I'm a terrible monk. The monastery is lost. The relic has been taken. Here, take my crossbow. Use it to hunt down whoever stole the relic. Use it. Use ammo crates like th the one outside to refill your ammo. Thou must reach the village and seek help from the village elder. Go now, my time has come. R to reload crossbow, left mouse button to aim and shoot, Q to swap equipment. Uh. My, my thing is white. Um. Nice! So everything appropriately enough takes time. Oh, yes, keep being stuck on your on your dead brother and nice. Okay, so everything works appropriately like a crossbow. Taking for goddamn ever. <laughs> Good to know. We'll make it work. It's got good range, probably, so... Oh man, everyone be dead. You look alive-ish. Eh, probably dead. That his hands were like nailed to the thing or something. Well, that's ominous. Come at thee! much health, thankfully. And we can stop and heal whenever we want. 
Yay! <laughs> I assume we'll be needing that. If the game is built around it properly, which I, I trust... I trust the Duke to do. Uh... Something tells me that we're gonna be needing to heal. Oh! That's blood. I thought that was lava. Or something. I was getting, like, all Minecraft-minded. corner for some reason. Speaking of guys around corners, it's the lava pit. Oh jeez. Can I touch this? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Oh no! It does splash on us, though. Come at me! I see you. Did you just throw something at me? Fuck you! Just enough, baby. Um. Much needed ammo refill. Really wish you can carry more, my friend. Nom, 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 Okay, good to go. What? Bullshit. I thought he was alive and going to talk to me. He's like, hey, you okay there, buddy? <laughs> Answer is hell no. Nice try, bitch. join the monastery because they're the only ones who didn't have to go to war. Hold up. How are you fuckers alive? Please enter the village. Seek help from Elder McGrath. Through his option... Through his opinion of our order is not the highest, surely he cannot wish to see us all slaughtered. 
uh, about how pissed off would he be of, 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 of us? I know it's on purpose, uh, but everything it comes at the cost of time. Healing comes at the cost of time. Reloading comes at the cost of time. Uh, gathering more ammo comes at the cost of time. So I think that's pretty interesting how much, uh, how many things depend on needing time. Hello? This was a village. Keeping an eye out for the glowing eyes and all that. Huh. Be ambush on the way out. Knock, knock. Hey, uh, you the elder? There's not really a village to be the elder of, to be frank. A monk here at my doorstep? How unexpected, is it? Have thou come to beseech my aid as if I were not already privy to thy blasphemous crimes? I guess we are a sect, so. "'Twas my grandson that has gone missing, the last in the graph line. Baker Skies claimed it was one of your own made off with him in the dead of night. The hidden gods have granted my son strength to end your infernal order. But my old bones have plenty of strength to end just you. Prepare to meet your gods, silent monk. What? Mother shit lord. Santa with a crossbow. Didn't expect this today, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was yesterday's video. We cut off his head? Hold up, silence. What's the buddy? Okay. Well. Yeah, I don't think the town's gonna give us any, um, aid anymore. Poorly. Shut up. Thou art already dead. Thou art already dead. Mm. Oh, I see you, purple eyes. in the distance. Uh, let me pray real quick. Okay, oh, I see you purple eyes. Go on. Look! We're loading in, we're loading in! The optimization while loading is a bit rough. Oh, now you just revealed that there is more people. Now there's one more purple up top. See your eyes in the glow of the night. 
have to get closer. It's fine. So the townspeople are on the side of the demons. Or the cults. Like, they blame us for the death of the grandson, but are we actually connected? Are we the bad guys? Are we the baddies? I don't go through a single recording day without asking that question. Here we go. There we go. Use the ammo, good to go. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Alright, um... I'm supposed to do this. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Now we can get closer, but how do I get past the fire? <laughs> oh, I went the other way. See red eyes. See another red eyes. Oh, that might be blood. So my so my people are gone. Uh, cultists killed them. I was surprised they were just out in the open too. So I'm not really surprised that they're dead. I was more surprised that they had lived, you know? So... <laughs> That's quite some balancing skills you got there, got, though. I'm gonna have to cut out so many times of me just grabbing more ammo. Let's just get a good angle and, uh, whoop. I see you. Wow, you can really just snipe out everybody, can't you? Just, just clean it all up. Real easy. I saw the red, and I thought it was blood. Mother... Fucker. You son of a bitch. Wow, part of me. You guys don't seem to really mind that much.
move it a bit closer. Oop. I see you right there. I mean, out of my sight for a little longer. There we go. You're starting to bother me. I can see another guy up top in the distance. Don't think I can quite get him. Rotate the camera to the front, it really does mess up the audio a little. The tree might be in the way. purple far away, but I'm not seeing the purple shooting at me right now. There's some purple on the ground. Hello? Did one spawn in wrong? I think maybe one of them spawned in wrong. That might be, like, him stuck in the ground. You see, he's just kinda... I'm gonna get up close to him. Yeah, you just kinda... Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Sliding on onto the ground there. Um, maybe I can shoot his hands? Stop moving. Stop moving, man. I, I need to put you out of your misery. I see his feetsies. <sighs> I might just have to leave him. Where are you, man? just have to leave him. There we go! Fuck! Hold up. Stop being evil for like five seconds. I gotta I gotta get some ammo. And thank you. Thank you. Pardon me. Woo, there's quite a few of you. Oh, it's only one, never mind. I thought it was more than I thought it was uh three or four. Tell me 
there's another one in the ground again. There's one up top I need to kill, but I don't think he can see me from here. Hello? They're like over here somewhere. See this one. Hmm. He'll be fine. Either he'll correct himself or at some point I'll outrun him. say something, but at this point it doesn't seem to be, uh... There's an invisible one around here, and I just can't find him. Oh, well. church. Which I'm surprised we didn't head to immediately in light of everything. Oh no, that ain't good probably, maybe, I don't know. We, we, um, hmm. Oh, hello, that was weird. Uh, future me, grab a screenshot of whatever the fuck that was. I think that was just me and some weird shadowing. Black relics, same as you, and tracked the fiends to this abysmal tunnel. But they ambushed me here in the dark and left me for dead. You must retrieve the relic and save us all. Uh, I'm dead. Reveal thyself. Where the bitch you are. in here. It's a good thing my enemies don't, you know, glow in the dark really brightly on their eyes in a way that gives away their position, regardless of how dark it is. And yeah, no. Good thing for my enemies, they don't have that going on. Purple. <laughs> I got him. 
this the way? This is not the way. Is this the way? This is not the way. Is this the way? Do you know the way? Do you know how old that meme is now? That is either one of my people or a boss battle, which I am all for. silence. I cannot say I am surprised. But my shock was all spent when I saw the lifeless body of my son here. Oh, so you're like the village elder's son. It matters no longer. The hidden gods whisper to me, promise his resurrection in return for your lifeless heart. Come now, you will not find me as easy as pr a prey as this child. So we sacrificed a kid, or they sacrificed a kid under our feet to make it look like we sacrificed a kid? Hold up. <laughs> Damn, he's harder to kill than his old man. I'm a part of me. Oh look, your dead kid. Digging the music. sprint. Sir, that's very rude of you. Oh, I didn't even need a reload. After 500 years. Oh, I get it. Am I? The b am I the bad guy of the bad guys? Am I a triple agent? Or I guess a double agent? No, double, triple agent? My family's curse finally ends. With these words... I'm speaking. I thought I wasn't supposed to speak. I cast off my holy charge. With my betrayal, I have destroyed the holy order. Yeah, I'm a double agent! I am ultimate e chaotic evil, baby! And with this sacrifice, taken by my own hands, the blood of three generations, so I killed the kid, dedicated to the old ways, I do blaspheme the Holy Trinity. The ritual is complete. May the Nephilim rise once again through me. Story-wise, I mean. Gameplay, it works really well. Um, I have to say that this game was weirdly 
artificially long, and by that I mean it felt really kind of stretched out here and there, um, specifically in the cost of everything being time. Um, just to get an idea, what you just watched was an edited down version of uh, footage that lasted about an hour and ten minutes. So uh, that's how much downtime I cut out for you guys to get a bit of a comparison. Um, outside of the uh, everything costing time thing, which is not bad in and of itself, I'm just saying it definitely uh, artificially lengthens the game. Uh, quite a bit, actually. But um, overall, I liked it. I I think this is very well done. I liked the twist, uh, uh, and it explained a few things that was a little questionable. And um, I think everything came together quite neatly. Um, so yeah, this was done by Torpal Duke, who we've seen before, and we'll probably see again. And look, there's there's Airdorf, who I also like, and David Shemansky, who I also like the works of. You know, this is a great team. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna call it uh, there for today. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Please, join me next time. I love you. Don't go summoning any demons. And bye bye.